Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema using a SQL script in PostgreSQL. Do you need to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema where the schema name, the table name, the ordinal position, the column name, whether or not it's a key, foreign key, primary key, unique key, maybe it's both, the data type, whether or not it's nullable, and really important, the description. As long as it's present in the schema, we can pull it out. Do you want to have all those things automatically generated into a data dictionary from an existing schema and then output that to, say, Excel or to a text file? Then here's the script for you. Our first demo is to download the SQL script. So we're going to open a browser and then you're going to go to github.com slash data research labs, all one word in the URL, just like that. Hit enter. And then you're going to go find SQL scripts, the project. If you can't find it, you can always search up here. Click it to drill down. Now you could click code, download zip, and pull everything, all the scripts, images, everything. Or I'm going to actually go down into PostgreSQL, into the data dictionary, and I'm going to click the data dictionary, or data dict dump SQL, and then I'm going to click the raw. Now it's in its raw form. Highlight a little bit. Control A, Control C. Now I got it. I have the whole script for the data dictionary, and I can take and just paste it in Notepad, save it, and go run it. Next, the demo for generating the data dictionary table. So I'm going to open PG Admin, and in the schemas, in the public schema, I downloaded a generic sample database that has 15 tables and seven views. And in the tables, because they didn't come with descriptions and comments for the columns, I went and added some in myself. So let's go look at the properties, actor ID. I added that comment in. First name, added it, last name, last updated. All the rest of the fields don't have comments. But there we have it. Tables, 15 of them, and seven views. And now what we're going to do is on the query tool, grab the data dictionary script from the prior demo, drop it off in here. And up above at the top, this block of code here, lines 11 to 16, that's all you have to worry about for executing the script. You change the schema, public, I want to run all of the data dictionary for all of the public tables and views, and then this switch no. Do I want the tables only? I would hit yes, or enter yes in here if I want tables only, or I want to include the views too, so I'm going to use no. So, and you can look at the SQL down below and see how it works. Uh, let's go ahead and execute it. And there we go there are our results. And there are quite a few of them, 165 rows. And we have the schema name, the table name, <clears throat> the type of object, table review, the ordinal position for the actor table. There's four columns. One, two, three, four is their order. That's the primary key, actor ID. It's an integer. It's not null. And there is the description that I entered. And I want to show you one other thing here. There we go. Some fields, like the table film actor, field actor ID is a part of the primary key, actor ID and film ID, and then each is individually its own foreign, foreign key to another table. And if it's, there can be foreign key, primary key, and unique key, and all three could show up. So you get a nice representation of what the tables are and how they hook together without actually having a graphical ER diagram. You can just figure it out by looking at this column here and looking at the names. And that is how you execute the script to generate the data dictionary table. And finally, the demo for output of the data dictionary into Excel. You'll be able to like highlight all of the rows and copy them. Or what I'm actually going to do is there's an export function here. So I'm going to click this and I want to save it <clears throat> to this particular folder. And sure, actually, I'll just call it PG data and I'll leave the date so I'll hit save on that and then I've opened up the folder where that is and CSVs my Excel automatically will look at those so I'll just double click it it'll open an Excel as a CSV note that any formatting I do won't save so I really should first thing I should do is save it as an Excel workbook in the same folder and now when I go do my formatting uh, let's just highlight all this stuff double click there we go, now it's the right width, auto fit. And let's do format as table and sure, let's do that one. And it's gonna auto select the range and I'll hit okay. And what's nice about that is I have a nice looking table, something that I can email out to fellow teammates or post on SharePoint or post on a wiki, whatever. But it's also 
got the filter set up. So if I want to limit it to just the actor table, there we go. Now it's automatically filtered to just the fields in the actor table. If I want to select everything, I can go back to everything. If I want to know all fields that, all, show me every column that has the word, I don't know, ADD in it. And so Excel's nice because it shows all possible values. And then if you type something, let's do RESS, R-E-S-S, R-E-S-S. It's, it's going to look and say, does any part of the word have that? Let's back it off, R-E-S back it off one more to RE. So if I wanted to see all columns that have RE in it somewhere, there we go. There's all the columns to RE and the tables that they're in. So you can do quick searches this way. So there we have it. You can make a pretty data dictionary in Excel. Thank you for watching and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.